Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect with me, Kyogami66, and we are still going to be checking around and figuring out what all the cool things that we can do um, in here. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's a citadel. Hawking Ada Cluster. Okay. No, that's not what I want to do. Ah, back to the map. There it is. Oh uh, yeah, I guess that's the only one. And get frickin' shot to oblivion again. Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Yay! Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hawking Atta Cluster. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. Yeah, yep. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. I'll look into it. Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. Okay, maybe I should talk about this first. You said his followers were biotics? Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched onto a group he identifies with. Many biotics feel marginalized or ostracized by society. Kyle probably sees them as victims who need his protection. And they see him as someone who will fight for them. Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible for all their problems. We can't let him go on like this. What were those Alliance representatives going to talk to Major Kyle about? They wanted to bring him back to an Alliance facility for treatment. Yeah, I mean, fair. Kyle served us faithfully for many years. We weren't going to abandon him. Given his state of mind, however, he probably saw them as a threat. We're almost certain he had his followers killed him. What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He used to be a model soldier, but something happened to him at Torfin. Too many Alliance soldiers died under his command couldn't cope with the guilt. His psych evaluation showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. Huh. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. I might be able to end this without violence. That may not be possible, Commander. We don't want a bloodbath, but Kyle is dangerous. I'll trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. I mean, he does sound like the guy is just off his meds. Got a medallion there. Got that there. Alright, so this one has nothing. Uh, that's probably where the compound is. And this has nothing. Fair enough. Okay. Um... Let's bring someone from Alliance Command into this.
Let's bring in a biotic too, just also that helps out in this regard. Uh, yeah, how we can do for you. Okay, um... Uh, let's save here so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Map. Okay, where I'm at. Anomaly. I love, uh, I love this game in the sense that it's like with the higher graphics and whatnot. A lot of this looks prettier to be driving around in. Um. The combat's still very meh. I can't wait to get to two. Two had the better uh, combat system. And three. Three also had a really, really good combat system. Alright, come on, we gotta climb this hill. Ancient debris. We got that Turian signal. Let's examine the wrecked mining vehicle. Wacky. into the debris field. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. No, too vertical for you, Mako. Oh, God, this place is craggy. Oh, God, I got flung hard. Physics was not agreeing with me right there. and tumble. Alright, finally got here. Okay, got that. 
Now we go to the biotic compound. Solve that problem. Ooh, there's a resource right next to the compound. Might as well go for it. I mean, it is right there. Surprised those biotic bastards didn't even claim it. it looks like it's gold. Cause it is. Hell yeah, dude. Level up. Hello, Alliance Witnesses. Can we talk to you about a lore savior of the Reapers? Outsiders are not welcome here. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle, and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Oh. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. Thank you, Major Kyle. Thank you for wanting to listen to me. I see you're, you may be a man of reason yet. Hi. Hi. Hello, people. Hello, people. Hi there. Person was running and it got me scared for a second. What it, it was just like. What if the game AI doesn't even think that I'm uh, doing something bad? Hi! I am Major Kyle. I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? Okay, first I gotta just do my job. What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. But they're not safe, though. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you're endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. You ordered your followers to kill those Alliance investigators. You must face the consequences of your actions. Do you really want your children to suffer for your sins, too? No. This... this was my fault. My children are innocent. Pure. Please. I never meant for this to happen. I... I'm sorry. You're doing the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off for it. Come on. Wait. If my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack and you will be forced to kill them all. 
You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my word. I'm going to trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. I mean, that's a very simple... I just hope you know what you're doing, Commander. I mean, it was a very simple, all right, let's just talk to the guy. What if we just don't have to kill Major Kyle? I mean, I could make the argument it was, you know, they, the people that they sent for the investigation, prob the investigators probably said something stupid. If we're going to be completely honest. Because, I mean... We were able to talk to Major Kyle. We were able to convince him otherwise to not, you know, do something dumb. Maybe the investigators are just stupid. Pretty easy to do, if you ask me. They just didn't have someone like Commander Shepard to be out here, you know? If they had a Commander Shepard out here, that would have been the situation. The solution to all of our problems. Everyone needs a Commander Shepard in, in their life. Message coming in. Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We sent in a team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. Congratulations. Because I'm good like that, Admiral Hackett. I am... The best. Okay, so we should probably head back to the Citadel if we're gonna be completely fair. Because there's a couple of missions that we have to actually go talk to someone. And that's kind of the thing we gotta do. So, let's just take a, a nice easy step back into Citadel space and uh, see what's going on around here. Take the girls out for a walk. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Okay, hey Mikhailovich. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, Fifth Fleet. 
We weren't told to expect you, sir. I would have prepared a formal greeting. Spare me the pleasantries. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. Okay. When the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever, they got them on our ship and you. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Huh. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. Oh, come it's on, dude. Opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. Uh, it's a really good ship. Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I Here like my boondoggle. Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Yeah. Right here. I won't be long. Go for it, dude. Commander, I'm not happy. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified yeah. Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless. We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic, or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy can be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, uh. maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. What if we need to know that? And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. But they're my friends. Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? Other than I've been kicking your ass with all my Paragon points. I think the Normandy is a good ship, sir. Even if you disagree, you have to see that her joint construction and multiracial crew make the Alliance look better. Your job is to look good, Commander. The Alliance Navy's is to win wars. I'm not convinced Normandy isn't a waste of taxpayer money, but I am convinced that you believe otherwise, and that you'll use it to its best ability. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. I'm not going to make it look as bad as I wanted it to. Alliance officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Ye. Yeah. Major Kyle surrendered and is now being treated for severe post-traumatic stress disorder. Fairly simple, straightforward to the point. Hi. Commander, Kalisa have been seen in Al Jalani, Western Lin News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? Okay, I'm not going to make fun of your name nearly so much, but that is a really long name. What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Oh my god, what happened to your eyes? Please fix your eyes. Hold on. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human Spectre? The Spectres represent the best of Man, every species everyone just in the wants galaxy. To, talk to, to be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? No. I mean, technically speaking, no. The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. 
You really do believe that, don't you? Yes. You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Oh, that the Tillerians helped build it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I mean, heck, our crew is not even Alliance. I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, Some of them. yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Um, I can't confirm or deny that for the safety of everyone. I'm afraid I can't comment on whatever my current assignment may or may not be. Don't worry, we'll find out. The eyes of Earth are on you. Don't let us down. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. There we go. Um... I don't know where I need to go. Actually, markets. Let's go check out the markets. Markets aren't going to really do anything for me, but we'll check out the markets regardless. Hey, there's Conrad. Hi, Conrad. Hey, Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Verner. Remember me? Yeah, unfortunately. There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And they also say that you don't take crap from anybody. You're showing them what humans can do. Hey, can I get your picture? I suppose. I don't have a problem with it, but why? You're a hero, Shepard. Decades from now, humanity's going to remember you. And I'll have your picture. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. I don't know if I appreciate. Thanks again, Commander. I'm going to hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Gross. Uh, yeah, let's see if there's anyone else we need to talk to. We just have to scope out the whole line. I don't think I need to head over to Korra's Den. We're gonna be fair. Arkin! It's okay, Harkin. We don't need you here. Oh, shoot. It's kind of one of those, it's just like, I know I gotta pick up certain, certain clicks. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. And good for her. Oh, 
Ah, keeper. Forgot that was one of the major major missions was scanning the keepers. Hey, hey, you're the shepherd kid. Yeah. Hey, been a long time, huh? I'm sorry. Do we know each other? Oh, I, I guess you don't remember me, Lieutenant Zabaleta. I I worked with your mother. We served on the carrier Einstein. Well, that was 12, 13 years back, though. You were just a kid then. I guess you're not in the service anymore, huh? <laughs> you're retired, yeah. You know how it is. Times are tough for vets. They always are. Huh. I didn't see her much that tour. The ship was on patrol most of the time. Hey, call your mom up and ask. She'd remember old Zabaleta. She'd vouch for me. Look, I need a favor. I'm kind of short on money these days. I hate hitting you up for money, but a man's got to eat, right? So, could you spare something? Maybe 20 credits. 20 isn't enough to get you back on your feet, is it? No, no, no. I I'll just get a, a meal. You know. Yeah. It's not a problem. You're a good kid, you know that? Thanks. If you ever want to come by and talk, I'll be here. Huh? <laughs> Can't afford a ticket home, right? You ever just sit and watch people? So how are you liking your posting at the academy? It's good. Busy, though. I can't believe how many... How cool are you have employed a hidden Neo to redirect their sick... What do you say we head down to Korra's den after? Feel there was something to go on with that signal there. I don't know. Something wacky about that. Uh let me see if I can do this. No? Okay. Elevator time. Presidium technicians are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction, or even what the system was originally designed to do. CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property. That's something to do with me. I feel like that has something to do with me. I don't know. I'm trying to find the car stop. If I'm going to be completely fair. I think I've been missing every single one since then. Yeah, let's get to Citadel Tower. Because I believe one of the guys I need to report to is on Citadel Tower. Hi. Commander Shepard. Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Again. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. It's kind of a step down, don't you think? That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. I 
I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. The bug. Now where do I go? Excellent. Just place it on the terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. Okay. Hey, that's the guy. Oh uh, yeah, Kahaku. Kahaku. No, I'm wait. Commander Shepard, isn't it? My name is Admiral Kahoku. Is there something I can do for you? You send a recon team out into the Artemis Tau cluster? Yes, that's right. They went missing a few days ago. I've been trying to find out what happened to them, but I keep getting the runaround from Alliance Brass. Do you know something about this, Commander? Yes. I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a Thresher Maw. A Thresher Maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a Thresher Nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance Distress Beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the Thresher Nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait, my unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Okay, fair enough. And there's Garoth. This should cap off everything. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say, right? Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. I mean, I think that covered everyone here. Journal. Okay, yeah. So I need to get to the presidium, but we'll do that the next time. Hold on. Uh, we'll save here. Just so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Leave the video a like. Leave it a subscribe. And, you know what? Um, share it with other people. Um... It, it would help me out immensely um, to have more people watch any of my videos, especially if people are interested in video games or they're just wanting to listen to like a chill kind of like background noise, you know? Alright. Bye.